Here are three ways to secure credit card transactions online. 1. PCI Compliance Any business that accepts, stores, transmits, or interacts with credit cards in any way must be PCI compliant. The PCI standards require companies to protect customer credit card data with security measures like encryption, firewalls, password-protected systems, and more. In addition to protecting your customers' data, PCI compliance protects your business from liability, penalties, and fines. Two, Secure Sockets Layer, SSL. SSL is a system of rules that protects communication between your website and your customer's browser. To enable SSL on your website, you can buy an SSL certificate from your web hosting provider or a certification authority. SSL works with your website server and the customer's browser to do two important things. First, SSL verifies sites as trustworthy. Have you ever noticed a little green lock in the address bar of your browser? That lock means the site you're visiting is protected by SSL protocol. Many consumers expect to see a green lock when they visit your site. When a customer visits a site, their browser will check to see if the site has an SSL certificate. If the site has a valid certificate, then the browser will display a green lock or other trust symbol in the address bar. SSL sites put customers at ease and encourage them to buy because they know their credit card information is safe. Second, SSL encrypts information between the server and browser. Sites that use SSL automatically encrypt information between the server and the browser. How does encryption work? Remember when you made up a secret language as a kid and used it to pass notes with your friends? Only you and your friends could read the secret messages because only you had the key of the language. You knew which letters to substitute to turn the gibberish into English. Encryption is a similar process. You start out with sensitive information, like credit card data, and use a specific key to turn it into a coded message. The coded message is sent over the internet, and once it's received, the receiving party uses the key to decode the message. When a customer visits a site protected by SSL, the browser and the server perform what's called a handshake to determine which key to use to encrypt the information they share. Once they agree upon the key, the browser and the server can send coded messages back and forth. Any information that passes between the browser and the server, like credit card information, addresses, phone numbers, and more, is encrypted. 3. Tokenization Tokenization is a method to protect credit card data when it's in use or in storage. How does it work? The customer's data is replaced with a token, an arbitrary string of numbers and letters. That stands in for the original information. The merchant stores this token on their system, while the true information is usually stored off-site in a secure data vault. To learn more about securing credit card transactions online, visit our website at www.centurybizsolutions.com.